You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to work on activating the National Renewable Energy Plan and initiatives within the framework of national efforts to encourage the utilization of clean energy and reduce the cost of electricity consumption. This is in addition to reducing the carbon footprint of government buildings and facilities and achieving national goals related to renewable energy and development visions for the sustainability of energy resources and diversification of its sources. In this regard, the Sustainable Energy Authority confirmed that it had received requests from 22 ministries and government agencies to support them in installing solar energy systems systems on the roofs of their buildings to benefit from reducing the cost of electricity. The authority added that it continues to work with the public and private sectors to increase investment in this sector because of its positive impact on increasing the participation of renewable energy resources in the kingdom. The Ministry of Health renews its calls on citizens and residents to register online for prior appointments to take the COVID-19 vaccine, which protects individuals, their families and the community. The ministry started or rather stated that the online portal now enables those registering to select their preferred health center and the type of vaccine they wish to receive. The online registration for the vaccination appointment is through visiting the website healthalert.gov.bh. The decision has been made to suspend the vaccination walk-in service at designated residential health centers to ensure compliance with all precautionary and safety measures. The vaccination is available free of charge to all citizens and residents of the age of 18 years and above. The vaccinations operate by simulating the body's immunity to produce antibodies that resist COVID-19. The government secured vaccinations for citizens and residents to preserve the health and safety of everyone following analysis of all available data and approval by the National Health Regulatory Authority. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 18,001 active cases with 189 recoveries and 234 registered new cases. 115 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 102 were contacts of active cases and 17 were travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, the BTA, has announced the cancellation of the fireworks display which was set to be held in Bahrain Bay in celebration of the new year. The decision is in support of the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 and to protect public safety from gatherings. BTA affirmed the synergized efforts with the frontliners in combating COVID-19 and bring life back to normal and festivities will return. It wished all people in the kingdom continued happiness, safety and good health. During this time of the year, a group of travel lovers celebrate the kingdom's holidays abroad. However, this year, because of the exceptional circumstances and the global challenges that the world is currently facing, the travel lovers decided to celebrate the national holidays and New Year in Hawar Islands, reviving domestic tourism. The trip included many exploratory activities in the Hawar Islands, as well as entertainment shows that highlighted the rich heritage of the kingdom of Bahrain. Long live Bahrain. We love Bahrain. This is uh, home away from home. And I'm enjoying Hawar Islands. This is an excellent place. We loved it. And we want to come again and again. <laughs> Happy National Day. Uh, definitely, uh, I loved this place very much. Uh, this is the first time we are visiting Hawar Islands. And then the ambience is very good. And then we would like to come every, every year. We would like to enjoy our holidays over here. This is a very nice place. And we definitely love Bahrain. And we love the kingdom. We love the nationality, the people over here. Very nice. So it's really nice feeling here coming to the Hawar Islands and uh, you know we are part of the National Day celebration and I came to know that this is the first time of event which is happening in Hawar Island for the National Day. So to be a part of it is really feeling proud and uh, I actually love to travel but because of COVID we couldn't travel much so coming to Hawar is also like a you know travel since it's, it's barren but still you know it's outside you have to 45 minutes drive on a boat to come here so yeah it's a good feeling and uh, so part of this in, uh, national day event really feeling good and uh, we really enjoyed the entire day and the evening that have been uh, you know done for this i would like to congratulate first of all to bahrain and bahrain residents and my experience here is wonderful and during the COVID-19 uh, it was excellent. Government had taken care of each and every person and I would really appreciate that. It was wonderful. I am here in Bahrain since seven years. This is first time I am visiting this Hawar Island and I enjoyed a lot du uh, during the COVID time also. You prepared very well and every organize, everything very nicely organized and uh, happy National Day. Long live Bahrain.